Hello, Mr. Anderson. Oh, it's you. I didn't know you with all your clothes on. I'm just giving my face a break today. You think I need a change, do you? You've tried everything else for six months, haven't you? Six months? I'm just getting my second win. You've been working on me with everything you've got. But I know what you think before you think it. I don't want you or any part of you. I want that understood because I think I can use you. What part of me? All of you. I get it. How much are you getting now? Thirty-five a week when I'm not docked. Could you use seventy? Seventy a week? What's the gag? I want you to do something for me. It's practically done. What is it? Listen, come here. In the next office sits a gentleman by the name of Mr. Denton Ross. Sure, I know him. Ross is wasting too much of his valuable time watching my affairs. He's much too busy around here. He needs somebody to take his mind off his work. You can do that better than anybody I know. And I get paid for it? Yes. Oh, that'll be wonderful. Save it. Don't waste it on me. Oh, Mr. Ross, I hope you aren't busy, but I just had to see you. What is it, young lady? I suppose I should really talk to Mr. Anderson, but I'd much rather see you. Do you mind? Not at all, not at all. Anyhow, I think you understand better than anybody what we girls had to put up with down in the department. I know you'll protect me. Why, certainly, certainly. Uh, sit right down, Miss... Uh, 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 Dale, Polly Dale. I'm a model. Oh. Uh, have you been having any trouble? Yes. Tell me all about it, my dear. It's about stockings. Stockings? Yes. They don't want me to wear stockings. And that means no girdle. Oh, I feel just awful. Oh. And then Miss Sibley wants us to rouge our heels. Do what? Rouge our heels like this. I see. Honestly, I'm so ashamed, Mr. Ross. I didn't want to take this up with Mr. Anderson because, well, I'm so afraid of him. Oh? And I think you understand how we girls feel about him. Yes, my dear, I understand perfectly, perfectly. I'll have a talk with Miss Sibley about it. Oh, but you won't tell her I came up to see you, will you? She'll be awful mad. Promise? <laughs> I won't tell her. Oh, thank you. You don't mind if I come to you with these little things, do you? Not at all, my dear. Not at all, no. Come any time you like, any time. Oh, thank you. You're so nice. Goodbye. 